Hey there everybody, I hope you're doing well. It is Friday, I think it's the 16th. Yes, it is August the 16th. We're experiencing some heat, but you know it's really crazy because like in four weeks we won't be experiencing heat anymore, I think. I hope all of you are doing good and looking forward to a great weekend. I have one pound plus paper packs going in my advance notice email list. I'm not doing Etsy anymore. You can sign up for the advance notice email list. I've got uh, all the info in the description box below. So do check that out. We're going to go through these as I chit chat with you a little bit. This one is called Happy. And I did decide, you guys, to include um, a mini crow confetti because I think this is one of the things that I probably won't be doing anymore. I love crow confetti, but it did not, uh, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it wasn't one of those great sellers, you know, and it takes a lot of time to figure out what you're going to put in some crow confetti. Anyway, so this one is called Happy Crow Confetti. And inside these bags, you will find all kinds of paper. You'll have some fabric, napkins, tags, border strips, um, art trading cards. This is a portion of a pocket letter. Uh, it's rearranged. It's rearranged as something for me to, <laughs> to put into these paper packs for you guys. Art trading card blanks, um, six by six papers. We have, we have journal prompts for you. If you are building a stash, this is awesome. If you're just starting out, it is a great way to it's a great way to collect in one buy the things that you you would that you need as an art journaler, as a journal journaler, as a junk journaler. This, this just incorporates everything. In this pouch we have vintage. Some of this is 1949. Uh, magazine. I do want to say thank you to Miss Crawford. You guys have heard me mention Miss Crawford before. Miss Crawford had a fall and um, she is recuperating. She is okay, but I know that she would appreciate our love. We love you, Miss Crawford. And um, like, like I said, she's, she's doing better. In this, you have those super cool uh, chit chat. You know, like uh, Tim Holtz chit chat, or uh, there are different kinds of chit chat in here. Each of these packs is different. This is a really good example of something that is in these packs. Isn't that beautiful? And it's vintage paper, absolutely gorgeous. You do have a nice piece of five by seven board here. You know, if you wanted to do a collage or a project like that, inside this little <clears throat> excuse me, inside this little envelope is a surprise so i'm not i'm not going to open this as we're sitting here because that's a surprise for you guys and then we have um, more elements here these are wooden uh the wood cut out letters uh buttons and beads uh beads in here buttons in here buttons in here as well paper scraps paper pieces cut outs I've got some embroidery floss in here. I've got some stickers in here. This is a whole, like, um, this is a whole project just right here. I got to thank Judy and Sandy because when I told them I was out of paper, they came over yesterday and brought me so much paper. Cool paper. Um... I'm just really grateful to all of you who, you know, it's, I never know what's going to show up on my doorstep. A lot of folks are de-stashing. Now, you guys know that I'm, an, I'm a minimalist here, so I don't keep a lot of things around. And then when I run out, it's like, yikes, you know, I'm, I'm really out, and it's the end of the month, and I'm cashless, and 
<laughs> you know, all that good stuff. And by golly, it is crazy how the universe works because a lot of times something will show up. You know, I'll, I'll have a, 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 a friend in the Midwest who sends me this big box and she's like, I'm getting rid of all this stuff. I really don't want it anymore. Or I've stopped crafting or I've stopped crafting like this. Now I'm sewing or something like that. All right, so this pack is called Happy. Like I said, they are, uh, they're, they're turning out about a pound four ounces, something like that, and I will package them up real nice for you guys. I just wanted to go ahead and um, and get these in the go today. This one is called Bold. You have the aforementioned Crow Confetti. Crow Confetti is beads, and there are baubles in here. There's a little bit of broken jewelry in here. There are buttons. Um, there are little tangled messes in here that you can untangle. There are paper beads as well, embellishments, all in one like central location. If you sat down with this paper pack and a glue stick, I guarantee you would have fun for days. It's just that cram full of all kinds of awesomeness for you to play with. And they're very unique items, you guys. They're very original. They're very, you know, it's not like the stuff you see every day because like I said, I've been, I've been, um, I have been, I don't want to say it collecting because if you would see my studio, you would go, oh my gosh, she doesn't have anything. <laughs> And it's true, but I do really tend to, uh, I tend to like and keep things that are old or abandoned, forgotten, forgotten, orphaned, junky, outdated, that kind of thing. So you really do get a sense of a junky journal coming together. Uh, we've got some sequins here, we've got some bling, we've got some cutouts, we've got some sparkly sets, we've got some beautiful butterflies here. This, uh, this is, these are circles on that glittery paper. I think that that would make, um, that would make something super cool for Christmas, as a matter of fact. So we've got kind of the same elements here. Um, cutouts galore. I think cutouts are so much fun. I've got a little project to, um, Reimagine some cutouts going. And again, the temp holds and all kinds of little papers back here for you to play with. The 1949 book that I mentioned. I think that was a Jack and Jill book. And the little surprise right here, you get 10 sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper as well as this beautiful 8 by 8 that would make, that would make just a really super cool start to anything, right? Uh, you could cover the board with this and then get going from there. This one again is called Bold. So we'll set her to the side. And I do have four. They're $25 each. It's $5 to ship these to you. I'm using um, ground. I think that's what the post office ground. ground. It's not ground express. Ground advantage maybe something like that this one is called little and again you do have this mini crow confetti this one's got super cool marble in it um and you've got wooden buttons and things like that do be careful um because this is a drawstring i'll stow it and make sure it doesn't doesn't come unstowed <laughs> you've got lots of paper in here tags, border strips, napkins, fabric, things to color, things to craft with. I really like this. I don't understand your specific kind of crazy, but I do admire your total commitment to it. Less talky, more shuddy. <laughs> I feel like that a lot of times. No more talking, please. Shh. When I was a teacher, it was like that. Um, Y'all remember? your heads on your desk and be quiet oh my gosh those were the best times ever <laughs> this is your little surprise right here and it's not like something great you know it's just little cutouts for you just a little surprise 
another little package of crafty things to play with. This one has like a tag set in it and 10 pieces of cardstock and uh, eight and a half by 11 papers. Let's see if I can stack all this back up. I'm really uncertain about how I'm gonna get these stuffed in an envelope. We may be doing something very different with shipping. <laughs> Alright, the last one over here is called Patience. Guys, if you want one of these, if you want to purchase, you need to email me, tammy.bracket at gmail.com. These go really fast, so if you see this and you want one, please email me right away and whoever, you know, and let me know which pack you want. And whoever gets there first is going to, to get the item. This one's called Patience. Lots of papers. It's just intriguing just to think about possibilities, isn't it? I think it's fun to get, I mean, it's like you've got a whole new art studio or a whole new office or wherever, you know, wherever it is you work, you know, if, if it's a kitchen table or just having new items to engage with really does something to your brain. It really does fire your creativity when there is something new in front of you. And you're not like trying to uh, work with things that you've had on hand for ever and ever. I love this paper. I thought that that was really, really super cool. Again, 10 sheets of eight and a half by 11 paper. Some of it is cardstock, not all of it is cardstock. And we'll put this back together. You can see that things might come unstowed, but I am going to do my best to kind of pack everything very carefully and get it to you. And this one is called Patience. All right, guys, um, Patreon, wow, uh, we've got a lot of new folks over at Patreon who are taking a look at our content on a free basis and you can join my Patreon for free. I put the link in the description box below. Um, you know, if you might consider doing $5 a month, for $5 a month you do get an every other month happy mail from me and it has all kinds of enticing goodies in it. Lots of fun. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Have an awesome weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.